Hi guys, this is Daily Wish. Thank you so much for coming back on my channel and I hope you guys are doing awesome. So in today's video, I am going to remind you that you have the power to create anything and anyone. But as in my last video, I strictly emphasized on the state of knowing, on how you can develop a state of knowing that your desire is already done and how you can actually ignore your 3D, how you can actually discard what your 3D is showing. Now, still there are many times because we all are humans, there are many times when we get triggered by 3D. 3D. When we accept 3D as the truth for that moment, what are we supposed to do after that? Because immediately after that, we get into the knowing that it is not here. We get into the knowing that uh, in this 3D, we are not able to see anything. Hence, we are not capable of manifesting anything. And there are a lot of other emotions followed by this uh, uh, state of mind and it is not at all good so we need to understand few things number one is that we are always and always manifesting so even if you are not manifesting deliberately you are manifesting continuously 24 7 whether you want to know it or you don't want to know it, whether you do it consciously or you don't do it consciously, you are manifesting 24-7. So what happens is, what happens after you have an assumption, which is uh, believe something to be true or uh, you are wearing a state of consciousness. Remember that this is happening all the time. It is not something you do when you decide to manifest something. It is your real life. It is, it has been there with you uh, 24 seven. It has been happening to you 24 seven. And your 3D is simply a reflection of your past thinking. It is not your present. It is just as dead as it can be. It is, a dead reality it is what your subconscious believe maybe you know months ago or years ago maybe it is a thought or belief that was formed over a time and became a dominant one and you are now changing it by living as if you already have it and that is why i always say do not take 3d as you know your current reality do not take 3d seriously but having said that, uh, this does not mean completely that uh, 3D does not exist. You cannot completely pretend that 3D is not there. My point is, even if you know that 3D is right now happening in front of you, 3D is currently existing, please do not accept it as truth please do not accept it as your current reality please do not accept it as the final unchangeable reality are you getting my point because even if we know that it exists you do not have to take it so seriously it is always changeable so you do not have to take it seriously you do not have to worry about 3d you do not have to uh, make uh, this 3d as your final truth okay now let's talk about what if you still did what if you got triggered by 3d what if you accepted that 3d as your reality what will happen after that you will get into the flow of all kinds of emotion because you feel that your desire is not here because you feel that uh, your bank account is still empty because you feel that you still did not get that job you feel that your sp is not with you all the you know doubts and fears just start popping up right in front of of your eyes and what will happen after that when you know that this is your current reality you start feeling the emotions of not having what you desired for right and this is not going to do anything but only going to make you more sad more anxious more worried more concerned 
and more fearful right? so what is it that we are supposed to do when we get triggered by the 3d i'm going to give you three most important questions that you are going to ask yourself in that moment and after asking these three questions if the answer is a yes then you have jumped to the state of consciousness of living in the end but if the answer is coming as no then you have to start working upon it so the first question is am i detached from my desire okay now what does detachment here means detachment does not mean that you are not going to look back at your desire detachment only means that you know it is done and how you know it because you have made an effort you have made an effort or of imagining that desire to be with you you have made an effort of experiencing that desire to be with you okay you have made an effort of feeling the presence of that desire with you okay so when you have done all these three things there is no other thing that you are looking for your desire has been completed your desire is already been done you do not have to worry about it so are you feeling that detachment from your desire or not ask this question to yourself okay now the second question is are you living in the end once you know that your desire is done that you have already created your desire you have experienced your desire what is it that you will be doing at this very moment are you living in the end that's the question you are going to ask which means what which means that let's say you wanted a job so if you have already got the job what is it that you will be doing right at this moment on 6th of september uh, at 6 pm in the evening what is it that you will be doing after getting that job are you going to have a nice cup of coffee and you know feeling relaxed because you have just come back from the work or are you just going to watch a netflix series because you are too relaxed or are you just going to take a nice cold shower because you want to get relaxed what is it that you are going to do right at this moment after knowing you have your desire so that is what you are going to ask yourself are you living in the end all right and the last one and quite important one is in this very moment in this very moment are you living in the present meaning what meaning Are you aware that this is 6th of September and right now it is 6:05 in the evening? Are you aware of this fact? Are you aware that you are sitting on a chair? Are you aware that you are uh, listening to me? Are you aware that you are watching my video? Are you aware uh, your hands are right on your body? Are you aware that you are breathing? Are you aware that you are smiling? <laughs> so just being present in the moment meaning you are being mindful about this very moment you are not thinking about the past you are not thinking about the future you are right now in this moment observing your present moment knowing that you are living in this moment feeling that this is your moment so these three basic questions are the important questions that you should be asking once you get triggered by the 3d and this will help you in going back to the desired state of consciousness and it will also help you in relaxing yourself in making you uh, quite easy going as well as in uh, you know letting you know that you already have your desire so this is how uh, you are going to get detached from the current reality and not accepting it as the truth now for for all the three questions we have multiple exercises i have already uploaded on my channel you can go check it out regarding all the affirmations or all the challenge you can do that uh, even in the meditative state you can start affirming such things that you are living your best life you are living your best life you are having everything that you always wanted so this is just a reminder to make you understand 
that there is no big deal about the 3d there is no biggie about this current reality that you are facing at the moment and even if god forbid you still get depressed uh, you know with your 3d current circumstances that your desire is not here try to ask yourself these three question and guide yourself back to this desired state of consciousness so this is it this was the small video just a you know a small reminder for you to understand that uh, you are the operant power of this current reality you are the god of your current reality and you should never give up all right so with this happy note i'm going to take your leave and i'll be meeting you very very soon in the next video uh just in case if you like today's video please 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 do not forget to give it a big fat thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my channel i come up with lots and lots of concepts based on limit goddess teaching which is law of assumption so yes i'll be meeting you very soon in the next video until then please do take care of yourself and happy manifesting